Jack Hudson with Memphis Marine. And I wanted to take uh, a little bit of time in this video and explain all the systems involved in this compressor. But before I do that, when you receive the unit, it comes with a package of spare parts and tools. Please reference the manual and make sure that you got everything you intended to get. And if not, please reach out to us. All right, so compressor. So there are four main systems. There is the electric motor that drives the compressor, the compressor that compresses the air, the air filtration system, and the cooling circuit. So now we're gonna talk about each one, all right? So what drives the compressor? The electric motor. The electric motor is a big heavy part over here. There's a fan in front of it. The electric motor is 110 volts and draws 12 to 13 amps. And that means that you could plug it practically anywhere. The motor drives the compressor. The air comes into the first stage, flows into the second stage, and out of the second stage in the air filtration system. Air filtration system is made up of two parts. The water condensation chamber, where we can vent the water that's been squeezed out of the air. And the second part of it is where the actual air filtration happens. The PMV valve stands for pressure maintenance valve. The PMV valve maintains a pressure in the chamber and ensures that only compressed dry air resides in the filter chamber. So finally, there is a cooling circuit. The water from the water tank is being circulated through the compressor, sucks up the heat, and then goes to the radiator in the front of the compressor to vent that heat. Even though the compressor is very simple to operate, we have to be mindful of safety. And we built in a lot of safety into the system. So what can happen? We can overheat the machine, or we can overpressurize the machine. If the compressor is running too hot, it will shut off automatically. If the water cooling system stops working, the compressor shuts off automatically. So even though the compressor has all these safety features, we need to make sure the operator is paying attention to the operating temperature and operating pressure of the compressor. To the point of overpressurization, we have three safety mechanisms built in. First, if the pressure reaches 3,000 psi, 200 bar, the mechanical overpressurization valve will open and decompress the system. Second, there is a disc burst valve. At 4,000 psi, the disc burst valve opens and decompresses the system. And finally, the tank itself has a pressure relief valve. The three safety systems combined make this a very safe unit to operate. Of course, we always want to make sure the operator is prudent and is paying attention when they're filling the tanks.